the filtration, uh, what kind of air filter um, should you use? Is, um, uh, there's a lot of confusion about that. And um, uh, even people in our own industry, I think, struggle with it. And so homeowners will ask me uh, often, you know, what should we do about filtration? They may have allergies or asthma, um, and they're, they're trying to improve uh, indoor air quality. So it's a question that comes up a lot. And um, uh, one of the most important things to know is that the, what I call high dollar expensive filters that you find in um, home improvement stores uh, are, are really not helping you. They're, 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 um, they're expensive and they're very restrictive. And so if we look at a typical uh, one inch filter that most people have, uh, there's not a lot of surface area to this. And uh, when you uh, buy an expensive one, the material that it's made out of becomes more and more restrictive. Uh, the idea is it filters out uh, everything down to viruses. Well, if you've got a one inch filter and you're filtering everything out down to viruses, you can't get enough air through that filter uh, to serve the needs of your central heating and air conditioning system. And so the system is designed, the equipment is designed to have a certain amount of airflow. And if it doesn't get the airflow that it needs, you're not going to get the performance or the efficiency that the system is capable of delivering. And so um, it's a little bit um, like uh, drinking a milkshake through a straw, or uh, the other analogy I use is uh, trying to run around the block with your hand over your, your mouth. Uh, try that and see how it works. Well. When we put these really expensive, uh, very restrictive filters uh, in our homes, that's what we're doing to our central system. What should somebody do? Um, if, if your system can only accommodate a one inch filter, what we recommend to homeowners is uh, uh, to put in a less restrictive one. And so filters are rated in what's called MERV. And uh, the most restrictive uh, filter is going to be a higher number. Uh, your typical um, blue fiberglass filter might be a MERV 4 or 3. Uh, and then pleated filters like this might range from MERV 6 up to MERV 12 or 13. What we recommend is use a pleated filter but use a MERV 6 filter. That's going to, um, uh, it's going to let the system uh, get more air and it'll still filter better than just a fiberglass filter. Uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that uh, the filter on the system isn't there for indoor air quality. It's primarily there to protect the equipment. Uh, and so if you think about the, that indoor coil gets cold and wet and um, if you've got dirt uh, going through the system, it's going to get collecting. It's going to be collecting on that wet, wet evaporator coil, and over time, that's going to build up a whole layer of dust and dirt, and it will stop working uh, uh, properly. So the first thing you want is a filter that can protect the equipment. Secondarily, if you can also help the indoor air quality, that's a good thing. So the best thing you can do for um, uh, filtration, air filtration. Uh, I feel is, is what we call a media filter. And a media filter is similar to the one inch filter, but as you can see here, uh, it's, uh, this one is uh, four inches, so they're usually four to, four to five inches thick. And the filter media is accordioned in here, and so if I was to take this filter apart, uh, the filter media would be 30, 20 or 30 feet of surface area. And uh, so even though it's in this, this small package here, uh, the amount of surface area there is much, much bigger than a one inch filter. And what that gives you is, is uh, the surface area allows more air to flow through. And um, so um, far more air than the one inch filter. And so this is the best combination in terms of uh, allowing airflow that your system needs to perform and, and um, deliver the efficiency that it's capable of and being able to filter uh, uh, particles from the air in your home. Uh, and a lot of homes, uh, more and more homes are equipped with these when they're built. 
Uh, they're recommended by the, the uh, Austin Energy Green Builder Program. Um, and uh, oftentimes, uh, when we change a system out, we uh, go back with a media filter cabinet uh, so that you can use these. The other benefit of these uh, media filters is that they tend to last um, six months to a year. So this one filter, I don't have to change it every month. So a lot of times, um, if you have a one-inch filter now, uh, these can be retrofitted in, um, in most cases, one way or the other. Uh, so in a vertical system that's in a closet, when we replace the system, we can put a cabinet underneath the unit. Um, there's usually room for that. Um, in cases where there isn't room to do that, which happens occasionally, uh, sometimes we can actually put this in the return up under the unit, you know, behind the return grill. So it's, it's up in there. And then if the, the unit is in the attic, uh, typically, the, you know, you can add in a filter cabinet for that. But uh, highly recommended. Um, I, I recommend them, uh, you know, to most of our customers uh, because, you know, they're not whiz-bang. They're not electronic. It's, it's not a super high expensive thing, and, but uh, it really does work.